Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Twa here. Today we will be talking about what I am going to do and how to prepare for the Vikas update. Now, obviously I was hoping for it to come out today, didn't happen. Once again, Amazon decided to uh, take another week, maybe even two, to get this stuff a rolling. Somehow I, I felt of it as more of a blessing than a curse because of some FOMO stuff. Let's talk about that for a hot second. So, but before we do that, let me just give you the perspective on how I'm going to address this stuff is I want to be able to play as much fun stuff as possible, which means if I can play multiple Vikas, I would like that. If I can play more Valtons, I would like that because those are the two contents that I really, really do enjoy. So with that being said, I think if you want to prepare your account for any of the newer updates, I think you need to first set up what makes the game fun for you because a lot of people are getting massively burned out by doing a lot of Guardian raids, a lot of homework stuff that they rather not do or don't even like at all, wasting time in the process and energy and making them unhappy at the same time. So. With that mindset, let me go over my current status. One thing I want to point out is I finally got myself my 20 plus weapon. This is probably my biggest gold sink that I have so far. It took me about, I think, 14 to 15 attempts to get this one. So I'm really excited to have this because of multiple reasons. I'm almost 1460. 1460 is the hard mode of Vicus, which also means that I can get a full relic set. And 1460 was also one of the reasons that I wanted to plow through this as fast as possible. Reason why is because you get a honing buff from your stronghold. Unfortunately, Amazon Games decide to say, well, mm, not gonna do that for whatever reasons. Uh, I, I, maybe they will add that because a lot of people are complaining about it, but you never know. But knowing that I have this one out of the way, it definitely makes it a lot safer for me to invest into my character. So short but not sweet, within this next coming week, I will be getting this one to 1460. And how I do that is very simple. I will funnel every single one of my great honor leave stones to this single character. Reason why is because I switched from my gunslinger main to my scrapper as a main character because I really ended up enjoying this class way more. However, in terms of cost, it was quite, quite ridiculous, honestly. The only thing I really have to do in the process is get this plus 16 to a plus 17 and then go for at least my pauldrons to plus 18. So I only have to get a success twice this week. And looking at the fact that I got so many Guardian Stone Crystals saved up because everything was literally just piled upon my weapon, I think I have a lot going for me to then transition into the next phase after I've gotten 1460. And the next step would be getting this gunslinger to 1430. Reason why, this is the normal mode of Vicus and like I said, I'm playing for fun, which means that the more Vicuses that I can do, the happier I become and the more fun I can actually share with you guys on the streams. Now, knowing that I have about 1400 grain on a leaf stones, I think, even if I get pity to everything, 1430 seems pretty plausible, especially because I have a lot of guardian stones. So the only thing that can really be problematic would be my gold. However, I'm currently within the process of saving up a lot of my items, which generally generate me money from being simply in my inventory, and that would be on a sharp pouches. I've seen them actually double in the course of two weeks, so I've decided to view this as, let's say, buying yourself a home and the, the prices just rise exponentially. Hopefully that will be the case. If I only get a 10 to 20% margin off of this, this will be absolutely great. So I will have about 100 to 200K banked with just these items. So to finalize the part, what is actually giving me this much gold and this many resources to execute this plan? And that would be the basic Oriha Fusion materials. Luckily, there aren't many viewers on these videos, I think. And I could share this with you guys. This gives me about a 10 to 15 percent overall interest rate in terms of gold now the real question is do you guys want me to make a how to make gold within the current situation guide put that down into the comments let me know because i have a lot of ideas on how to make gold some very obnoxious ones if you will but there's something that I'm also super excited for, Arcane is coming out. And for those of you who don't know, that was my very first main in the Korean server and I've played it very throughout. And I want to get this as one of my six characters that I use for all of the content that generate me gold. 
So for that, I got myself two characters in the building. My destroyer and my Sork that generate a lot of resources coming for the Arcanist release. The real question to me is, will I truly be pushing these characters up all the way to tier 3 on the first day? I am not quite sure because the resources, they take up a lot. One of the last tips that I want to give you guys is very simple. Get yourself a lot of base gold if you can. Reason why on the very first day on Vicus, we will get a new tower. The new tower will give you legendary books. The prices of these books will then plummet on the very first and the second day and will generally rise up to the occasion once again. Which means that if you don't have that goal stacked at that particular time, then you are going to miss out on something very, very nasty. So one of the ways that I will generate even more gold is very simple. I will probably sell all of my materials after I hit 1460 on my scrapper and 1430 on my gunslinger and then see how many of the materials I can sell within that main time. But to wrap this all up, let me end this with a question. What are you guys doing to prepare for the Vikas update? Let me know down into the comments. I'm very curious if there are any things that I might even incorporate into my own strategy. Let me know and I'll see you guys into the next one. Peace!